Hey guys, this is Trey, back to another video. And today, I'm inside Ocean Gallery, and I'm going to be getting some inverts and some corals for my mini saltwater tank. So you can see behind me, here are some corals, and I'll show you them now. So here are the $25 coral frags. You can't really see it on the camera because it's the blue lighting. But yeah, you can't really appreciate this on the camera. They're just so beautiful. And these are the $25 frags. And over here, you can see here's some more stuff. But over here are the $30 frags. And there's one back there that I really like. Again, you can't really see it with this lighting. But it's really pretty and I might get that guy. And then there's also some hermit crabs we're gonna get. All right, so here's my bag. You can see I got one peppermint shrimp and he said that should be fine. I got two blue clawed hermit crabs. You can see that one's coming out. And then it's actually knocked over, but as you saw in the video, I got one zoanthid coral. So now I'm gonna go and bring these home and acclimate them. All right, so I'm back home and you can see I have everything in the bag right here. And here's my tank. I just took the lid off of it. So now to acclimate saltwater fish, you want to acclimate their water along with their temperature. Versus, you know, in my other videos, I acclimate them by putting the bag in there. But this time I'm going to dump them with, or I'm going to dump their water with them into separate containers because they all have different salinity. And then I'm going to scoop some water out of the mini tank with a shot glass. I'm gonna just scoop some of that out and put it in the bowls with the shrimp and all that. And then that's how I'm gonna acclimate them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, so these guys have been acclimating for about a half hour and I put a five, one and a half ounces into here, or I put one and a half ounces five times or more. So it should be good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the coral actually starting to open a little bit now it just closed i'm going to try and figure out where i want to place it might want to place it actually right there that might look good and i'm pretty sure that gets a lot of uh the light so i actually have the light on right now to heat it up a little bit so but you can see the shrimp is crawling around you can see the hermit crabs are out they're all exploring you can see that actually the polyps of the coral is starting to open. You can start to see that green color. You can see that little shrimp back there. You can see the hermit crabs right there. Everything's doing good. So here's the tank a little bit later. And you can see that the coral is starting to open up. And I noticed that this shrimp is a lot bigger than I thought. So I might, I don't know, I might keep them. I might take them back. I'm going to do more research. But you can see the... Hermit crabs are doing really good, and I'm going to go and try and feed them. They said brine shrimp, so I dechlorinated this water, and I'm adding, and it was frozen brine shrimp, so I'm going to stir it around. They said that the coral coral will eat it. See, so here it goes. See what happens, and kind of just wanted to land on the bottom, so then the shrimp and everything can eat it. But you can actually see, might be trying to eat it. I see pieces flying everywhere. Actually really cool. So here's the tank. Again, you can see the corals opening up, which is really cool. So hopefully those pieces will go to the bottom. You can see the shrimps grabbing it with his claws. All right, so now here's the tank. You can see I made a couple changes to it and I showed my parents and we realized that there really wasn't enough room for this shrimp and so we took out that huge rock. So now this is our final design. And I think this is gonna be really good. The hermit crabs are moving around. You can see the shrimp's doing really good. And the coral, it was opening, but then we took it out of the water and then started to you know, mess or play around with the design. So there's a little tunnel for the shrimp to go through. There's plenty of enough sand for the hermit crabs to dig through. And then this should start opening up. But that's going to be it for the video. Make sure you're subscribed to see more updates on this. And thank you for watching.